In the fight for a European place, it was Charlton who landed the first blow. What an effort! What a goal! Jerome Thomas used to be a trainee at Arsenal, but since his move to the Valley, his reputation is growing. Spurs were quick to respond, but Robbie Keane's angles were out. The visitors then had another good opportunity to level not long after that. Canute did the hard work, but Reed blew it. The second half was scrappy, full of injuries, fouls and bookings. Some football eventually broke out, but Spurs couldn't find the equaliser. Sean Bartlett may be a striker, but he knows how to defend. Then at the finish came a moment to light up the game. Danny Murphy's free kick, making it 2-0. A good win then for Charlton. In previous seasons, they faded in the run-in. This time, they seem determined to stay the course. Jim Cockin, Sky Sports. A club like Tottenham maybe has that little bit more pressure from the supporters to be in a better position, whereas you know the majority of our fans understand the club is on a steady progression. Um, I've, I've scored a few free kicks over the years, so I'm expected to do that. I've only scored a couple since I've been here, so... That's, that was nice. But Jerome's was a special goal. Um, I think he was about 25, 30 yards out right in the top corner. Nothing Robinson could do. After 1 0, you realise that you have to score the equaliser because otherwise you have a problem. And then it looked uh, in the second half, uh, we were chasing the game a bit and uh, we looked maybe at the end a bit tired. But, uh, but still, we should have scored in the first half with 2 1 0 at the keeper. And, uh, uh, two crosses from Andy Reid, uh, terrific crosses. I think he did well first 20 minutes, and then we started to play over the left side, and then we didn't give him the ball anymore. So, but that is about inexperience, and I think we were a bit unfortunate. There's nine games left. There's six of them in April, and um, for, for us, um, I've got players. I've got at least five or six players. Like Mark Fisher's come on tonight. He's played four games, you know, so it's like a new signing for us, you know, some of the players that haven't been playing. So they're all going to play a part and, um, you know, perhaps they can end the season. It's a little bit disappointing for them at the moment, but perhaps they can end it on a high note because I'm sure they're going to get their chance. So Chelsea, the leaders, Manchester United in second, then Arsenal and Everton in the fourth Champions League spot. Seven points ahead now. The gap is to Liverpool in fifth. Bolton are sixth. Charlton move up to seventh. Middlesbrough eighth. And Spurs stay in ninth. At the bottom, Norwich, West Brom and Southampton in the relegation positions. Then it's Palace, Portsmouth, Fulham and Blackburn who are now eight points above that relegation zone. Newcastle have cruised into the quarter-finals of the UEFA Cup, leading 3-1.